Hi, everyone. So who are we? So Target Integration was established in 2008 with the mission that every business should be able to leverage the full power of their business insights. So we have offices in Ireland, United Kingdom, three in India, um, and recently the United States. And we also have a development center in Greece in Thessaloniki. So target integration provide a perfect mix of quality and value. So we basically do implementations, we do integrations for our clients, we do migrations, um, and we just like to, you know, match the best solution with the client's, um, you know, business issues, uh, essentially. So clients come with us, um, cli clients come to us uh, looking for solutions. And even if we can't find the perfect one from them on our side, we will make sure to give an educated um, opinion um, based on what they have given us. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to manage your territories within Zoho Sierra. Territory is a demarcation of the Salesforce structure by which customer accounts and grouped and shared with the salespeople of an organization. Territories can be based on various factors such as geography, industry, product line, and the expected revenue, verticals, etc. Users with the administrator profile can create territories. Territory managers also have the default privilege to create sub-territories for their territories. Now let's look at how to create territory. Same thing as usual, we'll go into the setup page. Under user and control, you can either search it up here if you'd like. If you just want to go into territory management, but as you can see here, it's under users and control. And we'll click into territory management. And we'll create a new territory. So you can build your territory hierarchy from scratch within Zoho CRM. So let's create this territory hierarchy. So we're now in the territory hierarchy page and we'll want to click new territory. You'll click your territory name, the territory manager. So whoever's in your organization, you'll be able to choose them from the drop down list, the parent territory, and you'll be able to add users to this territory. And the permissions that they have, whether it's read only, if they want to read, write, and delete. So you can still select the permissions within your territories. You want to apply your account rule. Add your description and click save. So that is your territory created. And in permissions, it just once, I would just want to reiterate the fact that the users will have access to the records assigned to this territory. All the users can have the same permission for the records, either read only or read, write, and delete, as we saw before. But that is essentially how to create a, ter a territory within Zoho CRM. So an initial territory was created, and that is the overall territory, and then we created a sub-territory there. So that is how you create territories. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Bye now.